Hey there, welcome back. As you've already seen in the thumbnail, today we are going to explore the house of my grandfather. But before we get started, I have a surprise in this video, and that surprise you will find at the end of this video. So to witness that surprise, I would like to request you to watch this video till the end. So without taking much of your time, let's get started. So those are the skulls, buffaloes and other animals which are more than 60 years now I grew up looking at those skins of animals and I happened to ask my grandfather for how many years those skins are hanged over there and to my surprise he said it's been more than 60 years. Those different parts of animals are not less than 60 years. I grew up under observation and guidance. I grew up under her instructions. No doubt, she was a tireless and vigorous woman. This is the bolster of my grandfather standing tall. Still, he is standing tall in spite of all the challenges, in spite of all the odds. This is the stone collected from the sea 30 years back. I'm still trying to lift this stone at least once, but its weight is so heavy that I'm unable to lift till now. What I find interesting is the words written on it, Pearl of Diku, as what they reflect the face, so a man's heart reflect the man. While creating this video I was touched by these words and so I was doing a research on the origin of these words and finally I found that it was taken out from the Bible of 
Proverbs chapter 27 verse 19 As in water face reveals face, so a man's heart reveals to man. We see our face or physical appearance through the water or mirror, but when we need to see our conduct or character, it will be done by scrutinizing our hearts. When we apply these words to ourselves, we can examine our lives and character not by looking at ourselves in a mirror or water, but by examining our hearts. While looking at a mirror or water, if we see that our appearance is not properly arranged or set, we try to improve our appearance through different means so that we will look beautiful and perfect. Like the same, it's important to examine our life, our behavior, our thoughts, our action, and for that we don't have to look at the mirror or water, but we need to look at the inside. And accordingly, we need to change that we will be look beautiful and perfect on the inside as well. To end, you look in the water and see your face. Look into your heart and reveal who you are. So that was the surprise that I was talking about. Proverbs 27 verse 19. I added that surprise section in this content because I want to make sure that whoever reach to my channel or watch my video I want to make sure that you at least learn something from my video and so I have added that section I know my surprise might not be as per your expectation and for that I really would like to apologize I will see you all friends in our next video till then I love you guys the threat of COVID-19 is still at stake so you please take care of yourself, stay safe and God bless.